Hello everyone, this is Matt the Speed Star, reporting for the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, and the starting of Set 2. In our previous episode, we conquered the Earth Temple, defeated Skaldra, and got stung in the face by Impa... Uh, stung in the mind by Impa, and yeah. We also helped out at the Lumpy Pumpkin again, and... Well, in this episode, uh... Before we continue on, I want to go do something here. So, first off, what I want to do is sleep until night. Okay, and at night here, you notice there is a lone gratitude crystal right he here. Uh, this is actually uh, Oriel and Perro's house. We helped them, uh, we helped Doriel's Loftwing, uh, recover, and looks like they left us another gratitude crystal because they are so grateful about us. Anyways, at night, you are able to find individual gratitude crystals. Right now, there are 10 we are able to get. There's a total of 15 individuals that we can get in total, but we cannot get all of them yet because we do not require. We do not have all the requirements for those. Anyway, I'm going to... I did that one out of order. That one's actually supposed to be number 9, according to the guy there. And oh, I just... I just avoided that remlet. Okay, so, starting off with the guide... Let me just get that keys first. Okay, so from the guide, you actually are supposed to start from the eastern areas of Skyloft, so I just have to scare off this remlet here. So yeah, the day I recorded this, I did a couple things in town today. I... Oh, green choo right here. Okay, so there's technically supposed to be a gratitude crystal around here. Now, before I get, before I get into this, I'm just gonna... It's right here. This is where the second of the gratitude crystals we can get are. And it goes back to the collection screen and counts each individual one. Now, I'm going to cut ahead to where the next two are because they are past the waterfall cave. So, I will see you then. Alright, I'm back now. Going through the waterfall cave, you can get two individual gratitude crystals. And then after that, I'll have to go back through there again and look around Skylofts. Anyways, just to quickly bring up what I was about to do early, I was about to say earlier is that on just before I recorded this while I was in town, I went to Toys R Us and I got myself a Wii a Wii U eShop card so I can download the downloadable content for New Super Mario Bros. U which will let me play as Luigi and spoiler alert I am going to be blind LPing New Super Luigi U I also pre-ordered Pokemon X and Y because I love the Pokemon series and I want to try these new out plus I want to see how a main series Pokemon game looks like in the 3DS. So I'm just going to head back to the Waterfall Cave and continue on with my Gratitude Crystal search. Alright, so going through the Waterfall Cave and after getting those Gratitude Crystals along the way of fighting through a bunch of keys and choo-choos, I got a few Monster Claws and Jelly Blobs. And just hopping over these carefully. Now, the uh, Remlet here. All you gotta do is just hit him twice and they cower in fear. Oh, yeah. Hidden fact. Should you throw one. Yeah, you think they're... You think they're dead, right? Look at this. They use their ears to fly. So even if you throw them off like a bunch of times... They'll fly back up. So it's alright to throw them off because then you'll give their ears some exercise. I'm not promoting animal abuse. Seriously. Why did I pull that out? Okay. This should be our fifth one, and this was on a lure ledge just north of the bazaar. We 
I kind of took this way, uh, when I was heading here before, when I was searching for the loft wing. Okay, so, okay, I'm not sure what to do here, um, I think I'm gonna go a little out of order, and after I cut these keys and choo-choo down, because they are so freaking annoying, now, if you notice right here, no you don't, okay, now, if you notice down here, there's a patch of land that we can go to, to our sailcloth, and with that, we get our next gratitude crystal. In the guy that is technically number eight. I think, though. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get whatever's left out here and then uh, head on to the other gratitude crystals that are inside buildings. So, yeah, there is one more we can get out here. And it is over this way. First, I gotta get these keys first, because they are so annoying. Now, over here, here, let me pull up the map. This little landmark here is known as the Light Tower. This is what they would technically call a lighthouse in Skyward Sword. But they call it the Light Tower in this game. And over around the back side of it, there is another gratitude crystal. This should be number seven. Oops, okay. Uh, yes, I do believe this is number 7 out of the 10 that we are able to get now. Now, I'm only doing these because uh, technically we are able to get up to 30 gratitude crystals, which will lead us to two rewards from Bat Tricks, both required to have 30 gratitude crystals. However, getting these, we will only be able to get 25, but there is one Gratitude Crystal quest that we are able to do before the next dungeon. Oh, and apparently the bottom door of the Knight Academy is locked, and I see Pipit there. Uh, I don't feel like talking to him right now because I just want to get this done. Now, I'm not really sure about if I'm still going to be doing longer episodes, because I have not uploaded the uh, episode where I stayed it in. Which I believe was probably my first or second episode in Elden Volcano. But anyway, the top floor of the Night Academy is open. The, the door to the top floor of the Night Academy is open. Now, this one is pretty tricky. There is supposed to be a... Uh, uh, there is a plant near the upper door. Oh, there it is. I passed it. Anyways, yeah, right near the door on the upper floor of the uh, Night Academy, there is this Gratitude Crystal here. And we only need two more to get before we have all the individual Gratitude Crystals that we are able to get right now. Technically, we're actually able to get uh, more than enough, but I want to get all the ones that we are able to get in Skyloft first. Now, this one might be pretty interesting. Uh, no, this isn't where... Here it is. We go all the way back to our room, uh, Link's room, and there's a gratitude crystal right here. That is pretty convenient. I wonder how this one appeared. And I'll just open this up again. Once again, get another blue rupee. Okay, now there's one more we can get. And according to the guide, it is up at the sparring hall. It is over at the sparring hall. I actually had to write these down because I'd probably have a hard time remembering where all of them are. Cause... Okay, I'm just going to cut ahead to when I get outside. See you then. Okay, so why the top floor of the Night Academy is... The door from the top floor of the Night Academy is open is unlocked, but the one on the bottom is it is beyond me. But, going into the sparring hall here, which is also open, 
this is where the last gratitude crystal will be. Now, the only way to get it is to use the beetle, because it is up there in the rafters. I believe that's what they're called. Ah, here it is. Alright. And that is our last gratitude crystal that we are able to get in Skyloft. And let me just check time. I can keep going, because this didn't take long at all. So, one thing I want to do right now, there is one gratitude crystal quest that we are... Oh, let's talk to Papet since we're here anyway. Hey, Link, it's dangerous out at night, so be careful. This area is my patrol route. At night, monsters get really active around here. It's the duty of a knight to protect the public from any danger. How admirable. Admirable? Nonsense! It's the bare minimum of what people expect from us. We are knights in training, and this is what knights do. That's the pit way. All I need are the smiles of the people I protect as my payment. This is what it means to be a knight. I'm sure you'll understand how that feels one day too, Link. Okay, then. Um, I was almost going to go to uh, duty or job. <laughs> Seeing how he's trying to act with chivalry and such, uh, yeah, that doesn't exactly pay the bills, does it? Okay, I'm trying to figure out where that one... There's one house I want to go sleep in right now, but, uh, it's not that one, because that's where the graduate crystal was. Um, where was it? Where was it? Hold on, let me pull up my map. That's where I wanted to go. Now, this... This graduate... Ow! Okay, that I did not need. Anyway, this gratitude quest can be partic can be, uh, um, I, I don't know how to say it, but you can either go through this gradually or all at once. Personally, I want to knock this out of the way and go at it all at once. Anyways, you remember the item girl Beatrice, right? Um, I'm just going to talk to her father here. And it's time by, welcome to the home of Scott's most popular father and daughter dream team. What? You telling me you don't know who I am? Believe it or not, I used to be the most popular guy in the sky. Mr. Skyloft, that was me. But uh, you might relate better if I told you I was the proud father of Skyloft's most popular girl, Petrus, princess of the item check. How's that? Does that clear anything up for you, young fella? <laughs> uh, yeah. You want to talk to this guy first before you keep going on this quest. So, I'm going to sleep until morning and then meet you in the bazaar. Now, as I said, I wanted to get this one knocked out right away, but I want to go. I want to go get that stuff from Beetle. Seeing as how we have 715 rupees, we're gonna be able to get that extra wallet along with that adventure pouch he's trying to scam us out of. Now, in in a personal opinion, I absolutely hate scammers. I hate people. I just um, I don't know how to think. I've seen, I've seen a lot of people on the net and such, uh, are being scammed of such. Believe me, I too have been a victim of that. Oh. Honestly, I'd love to do something about this, but unfortunately, I can't. So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to go along with it, and get our seventh our seventh slot for our adventure pouch. Thank you. Now, I better hope you didn't increase the price on that extra wallet right there, because that's the last of them that we're going to be able to get. Oh. Okay, so 200 rupees in your wallet. wallet. 100 rupees. Okay. So that's the final extra wallet that we are able to get. It gives us an additional nine... 100 rupees with the other extra wallets. And it should be able to let us hold up to 1400. Let me pull up my gear. Yep. But yeah, about the whole scanner thing. 
I don't know. It's just... Why do people do it? Really? Why do people have to just stoop to stuff like this? I'm probably like... Maybe one of the few people left on the internet who actually are honest and such. Because, I mean... Even if a, you think someone's honest, they might be trying to scam or lie to you in some way. And believe me, I went through a lot of that. I really hate it. That's why I hardly trust people people in general now. Because I always know they're hiding something that's going to eventually lead to betrayal. <sighs> but enough of that, because I don't want to bring my mood down or go into a rant. Anyways, I'm going to talk to Beatrice again. And apparently we're the only ones who... I'm here, so... Just come by and see me. Yes, it's true. What? Really? Yeah, right, you think I'm gonna fall for that online, but if it were true, that might be kinda nice. Well, I'll try, I still have a job to do. You're gonna wanna talk to her... quite a few times. Now, the reinforced shield we are not going to need right now, so I'm gonna swap that out for my banded shield. And I'm gonna... I still have 15 rupees let's, left, so I'm gonna repair my bandit shield. Oh, yeah. I can't upgrade it yet, because I don't have, uh, items. I don't have the necessary crafting ingredients for it. Why am I saying crafting ingredients? That's for Team Fortress 2. Ugh, I'm so used to it. Okay. So, just deal with it. I'm gonna call them crafting ingredients. Anyway. In order to do the side quest, you need to sleep in beds multiple times and keep talking to Petrus. Until eventually she starts to fall in love with you and start calling you darling. So I'm just gonna cut ahead to each additional day and... Oh! Oh no way, I can't do her because I don't have enough room. I can't talk to him! That's actually a guy. So, I'll just see you, uh... I'll see you at Pietra's house. You know what I mean! Hi. You're just check me out, right? Well, don't make a habit, okay? We need to grab some or drop some off. Yes, please. Hi. Um... I think I might have done something wrong. I don't know. Okay, anyway, who treasure metal... Y you can also sell stuff, but that's only for stuff that you're able to, uh... Buyer. That's the only stuff you're able to buy from the uh, item peddler right next to this place. Now, okay, gotta come back here on the next day. Okay, I really do not like suffering through this, but unfortunately I have to. Uh, what's wrong? Um, nothing, there's nothing wrong. It's not like, oh, hey, that guy's back. I'm so happy or anything like that. You know, me, you have to admit that our relationship has gone beyond employee and customer, you know. Um. <laughs> okay. Now, as you see, she's growing fond of us now, so you can tell that, uh, she's starting to fall in love with us. Okay, gotta come back one more day, and I think that should do it. I don't know. I wonder how she's gonna grade us today. Uh, yes. Hmm. Maybe we're doing this a little longer. Let's just put this one in, cause, uh... Okay, I guess we need to do another day or two. Okay, so see you on the next day. Okay, I hope this is it. That's right. Oh boy. I think you're one I want to say that. Yeah. <laughs> now. Uh. Huh? 
Oh nice! Good god! This is it. Once she says darling, that's that's as close as you're gonna get. We're gonna want to take this out. Now that she's fallen all love, create see over us, the quest continues. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, I sound so cold. <laughs> but... Uh... I don't know what to say. I just wanted to get this out of the way, because, uh... I want to get some rewards from Bad Tricks already. So... What we need to do is sleep till night. And then talk to her father. Okay, so sleep until night. Now you see her father's right there. There's a thought bubble over his head. Talk to him. Hey, Link, you picked a good time to visit. Why? What do you mean, why? This is important. My little girl's in trouble. Yep, the shining star of the item check is the source of my problem. That's my darling daughter, in case you forgot. She's been out of sorts lately. She'll be sitting and staring off into yonder, and then she'll be... Then she'll get redder than a tomato on the vine. Wait just a gosh darn minute. I know what's going on. My sunshine's got herself on water and mire. Yeah, Beatrice has an overproductive father. Not that I can blame the fellow. She's as sweet as honey and twice as pretty as a spring flower. Nope, three times as pretty. It's no wonder the boys buzz around her like a swarm of morous bees. Eesh. But I won't stand for it. No way, no how. I'm gonna find the rascal and give him a good whooping. You gotta help me out. You see anyone buzzing around my little flower? You give him a for and send him packing. I'll keep my peepers peeled too, but I can't stand watch all day long. I promise I'll make it worth your while. You chase the varmint off, and I'll let you chat with the apple of my eye. Hush. You don't have to say a word. I can see how you feel by the spark in your eye. There's not a fellow alive who wouldn't jump at this chance. Ease this old man's heart and get rid of the little life who's pressed to my baby girl. I'm counting on you, Link. Now, we have to go back to her in the morning. We've got to talk to her. Now, something I should pull up. There are actually two options to this quest. And I'm not sure if I should, uh... I'm not totally sure about this, but I think I'm going to do the one I'm not going to have saved first, and then the one that I'm going to do that's going to be saved permanently on this file afterwards. But in order to do that, I will have to save before I go to the point where the quest branch. So, first talk to Beatrice. Um, I want you to visit me at my house tonight. I have something I need to say. My house is just next to the bazaar. You'll definitely come, right? I'll be waiting. Oh, do you have something you want to pick up or have me store? No, thanks. Look, hon. It's not humane to tease someone's board. Knock it off, okay? Um, should we talk to her? Yeah, let's just, uh, do something. Yes, please. Now, I'm probably going to feel bad at doing this, because I... Um, uh, so first off, I'm going to sleep till night, then I'm going to go save at a bird statue, and then uh, just show them... Just show those. Yeah, I think I'll do both parts of the quest. And whatever part I'm going to have permanently saved is what I'm going to do last. So I'm gonna let Oriel and Pero let me sleep at their house again. So, once I... Once I leave their house, I'll save and go to Pietra's house.
Okay, so yeah. It's night time. Ow! Yeah, you're Remlet. Um. Oh, there's a bird statue. Okay, so, uh. I'm just gonna kill off this keys first, then I'll save. Okay, so I will meet you at Petrus's house for the part that I'm going to do first. Okay, so I just saved and. Cut away at the Remlet again. Okay, so. Back to Petrus's house. Remember, this is the option that I am not saving permanently. Now, should you go here and talk to Beatrice? You have to just roll with options, but... Once you talk to her... She doesn't ask you something point blank, okay? What do you think about me? Now, if you hit, I like you... You're really not lying? Really. And she makes art with her hands. And you gotta keep agreeing with her. And she does the heart again. But I understand your true feelings better than you know. You're saying that you cannot give yourself over to love just yet. That you have much more important things to do right now. Um, yes. We're still s Yeah, you have some serious kind of job to attend to first step. Blah, 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 blah. If you weren't off an event, you probably wouldn't need to come to the item check so often, and that's why I won't ask any more of you. Watch are you, protecting you from afar, giving a vision line on your items, and when your important work is done, we'll tell my dad we're in love. Tell him we'll keep our love secret, uh, Now, when you do this, you get the gratitude crystals from her. And, and then from, from that on, she'll be nice to you when you're at the item check. And unfortunately, uh, her father is going to keep worrying, so, um, I should probably, uh, show the other option. The option that's going to be the true option, unfortunately. So, yeah. Rewind! Now this is the option that I am going to have permanently saved on my file. So once again, you talk to Beatrice, and I have to say this is a bit of a reference to my little betrayal, scammer, liar kind of issue. And I don't like it, but this is the truth. Thank you, came to see me, thank you. The truth is, there's something I'm just dying to get off my chest, Link. I'm just gonna ask you something point blank, okay? What do you think about me? Use store items. Huh? But maybe I didn't ask you the right way. Okay, let me think here. What am I to you? Um, a shopkeeper. Are you serious? How can you do that to me? Oh, wait, I see what's going on here. You're just too shy to admit your true feelings, aren't you? No. No way. You have no feelings for me? I'm always just some sort of <sighs> I'm afraid so, Beatrice. Aww. I understand. I'm sorry for causing you trouble. Aww. Don't. I don't need your sympathy. I'm fine. I'll get over you quickly. Next time we meet, I'll greet you as I would any old customer. But tonight I want to be alone. Yeah, I know. We just... We just shattered her heart right there. And unfortunately, to, so yeah, to complete this quest, you have to sleep once again till nighttime, and then you have to talk to her father, because then he'll be overjoyed and give you the gratitude crystals. And unfortunately, Peach is going to go back to being all bored and such, yeah. still trying to get over you. Hey, Link, have I got news for you. My sweetie darling, daughter's given her good-for-nothing fella the boot. Of course, I feel for her. 
I hate to see her blue and all, but I'm pleased to punch the egg swiping scamps out of the picture. Tell me true, Link. Are you responsible for breaking them up? Never mind. It makes no difference to me. I'm as happy as a loft when you're enough draft. I truly... Okay, I can't talk too well. But, yeah. This is the option that I'm going to be keeping. Because, unfortunately, Link already... Whoa, 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 whoa. I... I told myself I wasn't getting into any, uh, little pairing crap here. So, yeah, um... I feel sorry for Beatrice, unfortunately. I know I... I know it's just the game and all, but... You can blame my... Uh... I, I don't know how to say it. I just don't, so... Anyways, I just gotta cut this piece up, because I don't want it to run into m me, and I gotta cut up that one, too, because I know it's gonna run into me, too. Because they fly in, like, random directions. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here, because I think it's gone a little long, and I still don't know if I should do longer videos. I'm gonna wait until the, uh... I'm gonna wait until I get comments saying if I should or not, and if not, I'll s try and stick around 20, 25 minutes. If so, maybe 30, 35 to 40, depending on what I'm doing. So, until next time, this is Matt the Speed Star, signing off.